My name is Michael Perkins, and I'm here with Coach Keller and Coach Spinner before the highly anticipated game before the Maynard Mustangs and LBJ Jaguars. Coaches, we're going to spend just a few minutes learning more about your teams and about the matchup. So, Coach Spinner, I'll start with you. What have you seen during preseason and during practice that has you most excited about the upcoming season? Uh, really just, you know, the focus of the kids. You know, it's been a lot of time that's gone by between January and July. You know, just strength and conditioning in the summer, seven on seven, and just really seeing the kids lock in and focus and get prepared for the new season. So we know they love football. This is a sport they want to play, and all the training has led up to this point. Really just seeing how focused they are right now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Coach Keller, same question for you. What have you seen during the preseason and during practice that has you most excited about the upcoming season? I think the thing I see the most um, with our kids, you know, since the offseason last year is the focus and intensity. They've been at it 100%. They're working hard in the weight room. They're working hard in track. They worked hard in powerlifting. They competed all year, and they're hungry to come back for this game right now. So, we, like I said, we had seven on seven. We had powerlifting. We had track. Now in practice, we 100% on time, 100% working hard, 100% attendance, and I, what I see is 100% focus, and they're ready for this game. All right. So both, both players on both teams are, are, are focused and they're hungry for this game, you both said. So next question, and Coach Keller, I'll, I'll start with you. As you both know, there's a lot of energy and buzz surrounding this game. So what has the energy and excitement level been like in the locker room and during practice this week? And do you think that helps or hinders your game preparation? Well, anytime uh, Maynard's playing LBJ, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of excitement and, and focus with the kids. You know, there, it goes a little bit of both ways, I think. You know, sometimes, sometimes they get a little bit of carried away with, with it. But overall, I think, I think it's a good thing because it's getting them hyped and getting them ready and it's giving them something to work hard to. So they've been working hard for this and I really don't see a hindrance on the field. They're, they're focused and ready to play. So they got a target, and they're, they're seeing it in their eyes. They're ready to go. And, and like I said before, they're hungry, man. Um, I think our kids are ready and, and focused. Okay, thank you. Coach Finner, same question for you. A lot of energy. What has the energy been like in the locker room and during practice this week? And do you see it as a help or a hindrance for game preparation? Yeah, this game is always one of those games that it's, it's, the kids are fired up for. ton of energy. Um, you know, if I was to compare it, you know, to a playoff type atmosphere, I would say that's pretty much what this game is always boiled down to. Uh, as far as within the locker room, you know, our kids, you know, they just see it as another game. You know, they understand that it is a rival game per se. Um, we're 2-0 against them as far as with me being a head coach, but we 4-0 against them as an assistant, you know. So as far as we look at it, it's just another game. Uh, we're going to approach it and prepare for it as if it's another game. You know, we don't really preach to our kids to get so high, you know, in the moment, but just to settle in. And we're really just trying to focus on what we do. And so uh, I don't think it's a hindrance uh, because there's multiple distractions all the time just with playing the sport. And so we don't let the emotions and the hype surrounding the game you know, bleed into the locker room. We, uh, we teach our kids to focus on our game plan and what we're here to do, and that's win. As you both know, both teams have an amazing rushing attack. So, Coach Spinner, I'll start with you. What are you going to do to try to slow down the Mustang rushing attack? Uh, we're going to do what we've done year in and year out. You know, Maynard has always been known for having prolific running backs, uh, just like Jonah. You know, they had Brooks, and uh, we was able to contain him when he was here, and uh, we've been able to contain Jonah the last two years. And so we're just teaching our guys to read their keys and be disciplined in their assignments on defense and then ultimately swarm to the football because we just feel like, you know, when it comes down to the rushing attack, it takes multiple pieces in order for a running back to be successful. So, you know, we got a pretty good game plan that we feel good about that we practice in this week, but we're going to swarm to the football and we're going to do what we've done year in and year out. Thank you. Thank you. Coach Keller, same question for you. What is your plan to slow down the LBJ Jaguar rushing attack? Like Coach Finner said, you know, we have two good running backs. They have a good running back. We have a good running back. You know, the way to slow them down is um, we're, we're, we're real senior heavy on the defense this year. Coach Molina, our defense coordinator, has got a great game plan and swarming to the ball and making sure 28 don't beat us. And yeah, that's about what we're going to do. So in addition to slowing down the running game, Coach Spinner, what else do you see as keys to, to securing a victory on Friday evening? Yeah, I think uh, quarterback play. 
You know, it's, it's two inexperienced quarterbacks, you know, Maynard with the younger joiner and then us with uh, a starting quarterback that we're going to showcase uh, the, the, the day of the game. Uh, we're not going to announce that at this point because we do have a three quarterback competition going on. But uh, but yeah, I think the quarterback play, you know, uh, protecting the football, obviously not turning it over and then, you know, getting other people involved. I think that's the biggest key because we know everybody's keying on the running backs. And so really uh, being prepared to uh, have a, a plan B if plan A doesn't work. And so I just think, you know, you just focus on every aspect of the game, special teams, offense, defense, and then just ultimately having your kids prepared. Thank you. Thank you. Coach Keller, same question for you. What else are keys to securing a victory on Friday evening? First thing, like um, Coach said over there, is this quarterback play. Um, Taylor Joyner will be our starting quarterback going out there against the LBJ. It will be his first varsity start as a sophomore, but we have a lot of faith in him. He's, he's played his whole life at quarterback. His brother's Quentin Joyner, and what we're going to do is we're not going to put a lot of pressure on him. We're, we're going to let, let the surrounding players, we've got players around him, we've got a tight end, we've got wide receivers, and of course Quentin running the ball. And our game plan is we're going to run the ball. You're going to have to show us you can stop it before we start going something else. Once you stop it, we've got other things to do. Another key to that, you know, of course, is turnovers. The third key I would, I would really like to elaborate on is, is a defense. Our defense is off the chain this year, and I think we have one of the top defenses in the state, and you're going to have to show us you can beat us offensively, beat our defense. As we mentioned earlier, there is so much energy and buzz surrounding this game. Coach Keller, in your opinion, what makes this game so special to the players and to the community? You know, it's really become into a big, big rivalry. Um, we got a lot of community members that went to LBJ that are now at Maynard, that their kids are playing at Maynard that were at LBJ and vice versa. And it's a big tie into the whole community and, you know, Northeast Austin Maynard as a whole. And I, I think it's a great thing that it's, it's come, come to this as a rivalry game and we want to start it off. And I think me and Coach Finner are on board with this. We want this game one every year to, to get us set. And, you know, he said before, it's like a playoff experience. We're getting a, a early start on there and no better time to get an early start and pressure is on week one. And shoot, man, I, I wouldn't rather play anybody else in LBJ week one. We're going to come out this, this week on Friday night and, and, and come out and do what we can do. Thank you, Coach. Coach Spinner, last question for you. A lot of buzz in the community. What makes this game so special to your players and to the community? I think it's multiple factors. I think you have kids that have grown up together, whether they played together in Little League or played against each other in Little League. You know, we kind of see that as a part of the rivalry and a, a part of the hype. And then uh, the community, you know, people that are now living in Maynard that uh, grew up in Northeast Austin and attended LBJ. So you got Jaguar alumni as well wearing Mustang red, and then you still have those faithful Jaguars that are still bleeding purple. And so I love seeing on social media, you know, the guys going back and forth and, you know, everybody advocating for who they want to win. And so I just think it's one of those moments where uh, whether it's Maine or whether it's Northeast Austin, everybody get to come back together where, you know, uh, we're not in the same district, you know, we're not in the same uh, alignment as far as uh, attendance and stuff like that. But now you get everybody from one community, whether it was past or present, they all get to come together and enjoy one game and competition. So I think that's the biggest part of it. And the kids get to have fun as well. I want to thank both coaches for taking the time to visit with me today. Thank you, Coach Spinner. Thank you, Coach Keller. We're looking forward to seeing everybody come out to the Maynard Athletic Complex to enjoy this great game. Additionally, we will have tailgating in the parking lot from five to seven. There will be food and activities at the tailgate. There'll be an opportunity to enroll your scholars in Maynard ISD, and we're even interviewing and offering jobs on the spot. So please show up for the tailgate and then enjoy the game. Good luck to both teams and to both coaches.